The following is from Maurice Nicole, given on May the 4th, 1946. The Study of Mechanical Associations. Change of being depends on inner work on oneself. No one can change their being without inner work because unless they can separate themselves from their level of being, they cannot change and all separation depends on the observation of one's own being. For example, science cannot change the level of being of humanity or the level of being of yourself. Science is something external connected with the study of the outer world, but self-observation is a question of inner study, the study of yourself. Recently we have been speaking about the study of false personality in oneself, the study of imaginary I, and last time we spoke about the study of attitudes and buffers in oneself. Tonight, amongst other things, I will speak about the study of associations in oneself. We all of us have in us a great number of purely mechanical associations which connect up centres in different wrong ways. These associations belong to our acquired psychology and so to our personality. We can imagine these associations to be composed of a network lying over the centres and connecting them up in different ways. Then whenever a chain of associations is touched at one point, the stimulus will cause the whole chain of associations to become active. In the study of associations it is best to begin with the intellectual centre. If you admit a certain fault into your mind it will ring up, so to speak, the emotional centre and all the other centres and so produce automatically certain feelings, certain movements and certain appetites. All this belongs to our mechanicalness. One of the main objects of self-study through self-observation is to observe our machinery. It takes a long time for people to realise that what they take themselves as is really a machine. The work consists in separation from this machinery. Habitual chains of association form a very strong part of this machinery. If you have attained some degree of self-observation, which means at the same time that you have a certain power of seeing your machinery, you will be able then to study associative paths between centres. That is, how one thing rings up another quite automatically. Centres in us are wrongly connected together by these associations. I said just now that you should begin to study by observation how associations automatically work, how a fault can ring up the whole chain of associations and lead to certain results. It is also possible to study associations from the side of moving centre. For example, you begin to walk quickly, impatiently, and instantly a whole series of emotions and thoughts automatically present themselves. The associative machinery can be studied from the intellectual side or from the moving side. For example, sitting in a certain posture will automatically arouse certain associations which will affect the emotional centre and the intellectual centre, namely your feelings, your moods and your trains of thought. If you bear in mind that your centres are not free and do not work in the right way, owing in part to all these mechanical associations that you have acquired, and if you have some degree of self-observation, you will often be secretly amused with yourself in noticing how some accidentally aroused chain of associations wishes to grip you and make you identified. If you can notice this, you will find after a time that these automatic chains of association lose their power over you, and this means that you are really becoming less of a machine than you were before you began to work on yourself. As was said, associations make a network round centres. This network is gradually acquired from one's earliest childhood. As a result, centres cannot work properly. For example, they cannot do their own work. Consequently, impressions from the external world cannot fall on the right place. They connect with things where there should be no connections. When you begin to realise to a certain extent that you are mechanical, and that you are chained to a machine which is not really yourself at all, you will be able to see how your life has, amongst other things, been governed by its automatic associations. 
You are already separated to a small extent from yourself as you thought you were. This already is a great step forward in inner work on yourself. It is also a step towards self-remembering because, as you know, one of the first experiences of the great meaning of self-remembering lies in the realisation of one's mechanicalness. You are not your machine but something else. You need not take everything in the way you have always taken it because you are something else. But this realisation that one is not one's mechanicalness, not one's false personality, not one's imaginary I, not one's negative attitudes, not one's laid down associations, is always accompanied by a feeling of pain or as Mr. Spensky once said, a sour feeling. And he said on one occasion that very few people could bear this pain or sour feeling about themselves and so preferred to fall back into what they had always been. At the same time, I would add that this painful or sour feeling is also accompanied by a feeling of freedom, a feeling of wonder that one has always been a slave to all this machinery which one has imagined to be one's real self. When you have new thoughts in your mind, new ways of thinking laid down by the work, you begin to escape from mechanical associations starting from the intellectual centre. These new thoughts, these new ideas that the work teaches us, begin to give us a new way of thinking, a new mind. And this new mind can eventually make right connections between centres if it is given time enough. I do not see how it is possible to break mechanical associations without a complete new set of thoughts, ideas and eventually a new understanding. Life connects the machinery up all wrongly. It makes people take political sides, religious sides and so on. But the influences of the work produce in a person quite new associations, quite new connections. This work is to make us think in a new way and that means at once that we cannot think in old ways. If we cannot think in the old ways, then a host of mechanical chains of associations will be broken. At the moment it is very interesting to make some observations about mechanical chains of associations and I would be glad if any of you would be able to give some actual observations of purely mechanical associations that you have noticed in yourselves.